Hello, Life Optimizers. This is Justin with the Optimal Living Daily Podcast, and this is my first of many gifts to you. I'm going to apologize right now because you might consider this more of work than a gift, but hey, if you're serious about optimizing your life, I recommend trying this. It literally was work for me when I first did it because it was an assignment in business school, but after I did it, I never stopped, so I want to share it with you. But before I get into this, if somehow you're seeing this video and don't know who I am or what Optimal Living Daily is, come visit oldpodcast.com to find out. All right, so I'm just going to walk through this, and this is your gift. It's an Excel spreadsheet. And now what this is is pretty much what I've been using for six years to track every single penny that comes in and out of my life. And that's really revolutionized how I think about money and also helps me see where my money's going every month. It also helps me see where I can cut back and keeps me always thinking about my purchases. It essentially breaks the habit of you know, spending without thinking. And my challenge to you today is to try this for just one week. That's it. And see if you can keep track of every penny you spend, but also every penny that you make, and then see what your balance is at the end. And if you make it for a full month or longer, that's going to be even more valuable because, you know, some expenses are monthly, so you might miss them if you only do it for a week. But, you know, if you can even do this for a year, then your life will be pretty awesome come tax season. And so I've been doing it six years without missing anything. So it can't be that difficult, but it can get tedious at times. So I'm just going to walk you through how to do this. And if you have any questions, you can visit me at oldpodcast.com and contact me there. So let's start optimizing your life. And when you open the spreadsheet, first it might say at the top or as a warning message that macros are not enabled. Usually with this Excel version, it'll be like a yellow bar here at the top. And you do need to enable macros if you want this to work. Because this is a button and that button will run a macro, which is basically just code that I did myself that's going to make this spreadsheet easier to use. So you do need to enable macros and you'll notice I am in Excel and it will only work in Excel. So you kind of have to have Microsoft Excel to use this. I don't think it'll work with like a Google Docs or something like that. And so on this page, the first thing you'll see is this big button. But I'm going to start over here with information that you need to put in yourself. The categories are just categories that you'd like to have so that when you... Uh, write down these transactions, you can put them in certain groups. And you can get as specific as you want here, but for now you can just leave one category and add them as you go. That's probably the easiest way because you're never going to remember or think about all the categories right off the bat. So just leave that for now and then in column N are your accounts. So this is all the money that you have or that you owe. I listed three here as samples for you. So if you have $100 in cash, you can put that in maybe $1,000 in a checking account, and you owe $100 to your MasterCard. But you can change these, so you can write over this something else or this one, and then you can start adding down here more. I get crazy. I even have gift cards that I put in here, like anything that's pretty much cash. So I even have stamps in here too on my spreadsheet because I like to track every time I spend gift cards or stamps or anything like that. So again, be as specific as you want to be. The more specific, the better. So if you want to add another one, like a, let's say you have a Visa credit card, you can put Visa here and then put down your balance. And the key here is that for credit cards or anything you owe, you need to make it negative. So it'll be red like this. If it's positive, it's going to be green. So Visa, let's say I have $200 on there that I need to pay off. I will put negative 200 in here. And then it shows up like that. And the cool thing is if I come over here, this is where you're going to enter transactions. And before it just said cash, checking, and MasterCard. Now that I've added Visa, if I go here, Visa is an option that you can select for where you spent the money. And this is not important for now. I'll show you that in a second. So let's say today is January 4th, 2016. And let's say you bought something for, I'll just leave this as $10, and it's an expense since you bought something, and you're, so you're subtracting money. And let's say you did it on the Visa account. And we can just keep it groceries for now, but I'll show you that this does work. So I'll say, I don't know, what other category? I'll say entertainment. 
Okay, so now that I put entertainment in there, if I go here, category, now I see entertainment. So I can put that in and notes, let's just say, this is, you don't need to be very specific here, but you can be, this is for your own benefit, which I'll show you later. But uh, for this, I'll say that I saw a movie, let's say. And then I can enter the transaction. So what should happen if this works correctly is that it's an expense of $10 on my Visa account. So if my starting balance that I entered here is negative 200, now I'm going to owe $210 to my Visa account. So let's see if that happens. And it did. So you can see my current balance now is $210 on my Visa card. Now what happened over here is it just basically copied and pasted the old values that were here before I entered this $10. Just so that if you make a mistake and you need to undo, you'll notice that I can't undo in the top left corner. That's one of the sad things about macros is that if you click this button, it's going to do some changes and you can't undo them because it's written code. So if you want to look back and be like, oh no, I did something bad. What did this area used to have in it? It'll be right here. So that's for your own benefit. So now what's cool about that is at the My History tab at the bottom, if you click on that, there's a list of all your transactions. And here you see Entertainment Movie $10. So that's going to keep a running list of all your transactions. And if you ever add a wrong, like a bad one, here I'll just do it again. Like if I hit this again, you'll see I have 220 on my Visa card that I owe now. And... It used to be 210. Again, these are my old balances. And say I messed up, I can take this and copy it. And then go here to cell 02 and paste over it. And it went back to normal. But there is an extra transaction in here that I want to get rid of also. So I can just, when it shows this little arrow here over by the number 3, which is row 3. If I click on it, and then I right click on it, you can do delete. And I'll get rid of it. So I'm going to add a new one. Let's say I made money this time. I'm going to say I made $1,000 to my checking account. And I'm going to create a new category. Oh, and by the way, so let's say I want to make a new category. And I start typing it here. And I say I made money from work. You'll notice this error message comes up. It says, if you want to make a category, add it in column K first. Ask Justin if, if you have any questions. So I would go to column K, and I'm going to add the category there. So I'm going to say work. And then if I go here, now I can choose work. And note, I'll just say work also. And so after I do this, I should have $2,000 in my checking account which I do. This is my current balance here. And if I go to my history, that old second transaction for the movie is gone since we deleted it. And now there's this new one for work. So everything's working perfectly. And what I'm going to show you next is once you have all this data here, the cool thing is automatically this is getting updated on the tab summary is a little chart with all your expenses by category. And you can see what your running total is. So for this uh, day here, January 4th, we are actually up $990 because we only spent 10 and we made a thousand. So there's your grand total. And as you do more and more transactions, it'll all go into here automatically. And it'll also calculate how much you are worth in total from these numbers right here. And last, there's a little what if tab that I made for you. And this was inspired from someone on Twitter that I saw had posted this and said how uh, possible this is. If you put in numbers here, which says, what if I saved $1 every week and added $1 more each week? What it's going to do is automatically calculate all of it for you and show you what you would have saved in a year's time. So by week 52, you will have saved $1,378. If you save $1 per week, but add a dollar each time. So you save $1, first week, $2 the second week, $3 the third week, and so on. This is your running total, and you get to 1378 at the end of the year. But what if you're like, hey, I can save more than $1 every week. I can save like, I don't know, two. And then let's say you can add $2 every week. So by the last week, you were able to save $100, and the week before that, you were saving 102 and you're adding it all into this bank account. 
at the end of the year you would have saved two thousand seven hundred fifty six dollars so it's kind of cool just to mess with it and do what if scenarios like what if I save this much money each week and right here it shows you if I did save two dollars that's only 29 cents a day and that's only four cents an hour based on the eight hour work week so also another way to look at it and just show you that it's really possible to be saving this money and last there's some written instructions on that last tab but that should cover it that's how you use the spreadsheet and how you can start tracking all of your expenses and all of your income and then get a summary of exactly where the money is going by category and by date and one little thing I'll show you if you click on it this is a pivot table which are, is really cool um, you can add things to it so you can add the note in also I'm just gonna take it hold on to it and drag it into this row label section and you'll see now you broke it down further and you can look at the notes that you had written for each uh, transaction also I'm just gonna put that back so you can totally mess with this you can also change it so there's more column labels I can move the category over to column labels and it just organizes the data in a different way lots of stuff you can mess with here but I kind of like the look this way so that's how I left it and that's it I hope you can try using this spreadsheet try to make it a week see if you can do it and keep track of all your expenses and if you do send me a tweet or if you're able to do a month even better and if you want to share it, the best thing you do is share the podcast on Twitter or wherever you want with friends and family, and hopefully it'll help other people too. So that's it for now. Enjoy, and your optimal life awaits.